All right, definitely a spring day and spring means trees are budding, flowers are blooming, and pollen is flying, <laughs> unfortunately. It also means congestion, itchy noses, and watery eyes. Those allergies can be enough to make you want to stay inside. It can be, but our Kamar Hamer learns that you don't have to be restricted to your house for the next few months. I know the allergies have been bothering you, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, Kamar is joining I us swear. live with more on how you can fight off the season this spring. Well, Marcus and Andrea, it's trees, it's flowers, it's grass that will make you feel horrible. But taking a few extra minutes to do a few small things can make allergy season a lot smoother for you. Watery eyes, an itchy nose, a scratchy throat, the list goes on and on during this time of year. Allergist Dr. Philip Hooker sees people fighting the fatigue of allergy season. But there are simple things to help keep pollen out of your house. This time of year, of course, everybody has seen the pollen. There's a lot of pollen around. And the best thing to do is don't open your windows, because if you do, then the pollen comes in through the windows, you know, through the screen. And uh, go outside if you want to enjoy the outside, because if you open it up, then you're letting all the pollen come in. Hooker says you can go outside and even cut the grass, but stop by the medicine cabinet first. If you're doing things that stir up dust, it's better to protect your eyes, you know, with the goggles and the mask. And then I would take an antihistamine if you have to go into a certain situation where you know you might have trouble. You know, something is, it's over the counter like the Zyrtec or Claritin or Allegra, one of those antihistamines. A clean house can also help keep your sinuses from getting out of control. Keep that air filter changed, you know, in your central air conditioning because it'll filter out a lot of that. And then just be cautious also if you're around a dust because dust can be allergic to you or it can be irritating to you. Hooker knows sickness is common in the spring. However, there is a way to figure out if you have a cold or allergies. The classic way to tell if it's an allergy or a cold is with cold you'll have fever and usually it's going to be gone in you know, a week or so. With allergy, you usually have no fever, and the problem will continue sometimes for three or four weeks, depending on how long that pollen's around. But classically, if you start getting itching in the corner of your eyes, or having itching in the top of your mouth, or your throat, and then watery, runny nose, like a water faucet, just really pouring, that's almost always allergy. Whereas with a cold, usually your runny nose is going to be thicker. Now, Dr. Hooker says if your allergy symptoms last more than one month without any relief in sight, you should go see your physician or an allergy specialist. For now, telling your story live in Columbus, Kamari Hamer, WCBI News.